that buck tooth, that bald head, all of that's coming from the demonic possession. And that flute is clearly a demonic artifact. When a kid tells you that they're transgender, believe them. Xeno pronouns refers to any pronoun a person has that is unspeakable. So y'all thought when I talk about the demons that that was a joke. And we're gonna say a quick prayer. Please do not allow my brain, God, to explode during this segment because I'm looking at, what is this, 15 woke TikToks I have to react to? And, you know, this is already looking insane to me and I might be the problem. I'm not. Okay, so meet D.D. Duffy. Really? That's your name? Okay. A preschool teacher in Cape Corral, Florida. Is it Cape Coral? I don't know. She says she teaches her students that if they don't like their parents, they can find another family, and she teaches them to be gay. I feel like I had to learn the concept of chosen families really young, and it wasn't anything to do with my queerness, but just based on the fact that I didn't have the love at home that I needed, and I knew that I was valuable and deserved it, so I found it on my own early on. And, you know, I shouldn't be blamed for that. Because fam like real like blood is still exists. You were never there for me, and I found my own love, and that's okay. And I think everybody should be allowed to do that. And that's what I fucking teach in the classroom. Okay, I always say, give it to your friend, not your mom, because fuck your mom. And I don't know. I just am so sad. <laughs> I am so sad, and I hate my sister. She's a fucking. F all I have to say. That's my major problem with school. I really don't do anything unless I actually want to do it. And most of the time, I don't want to do anything at all. So y'all thought, when I talk about the demons, that that was a joke. Blair, you're so funny. You thought I wasn't being literal. You're teaching kids to be gay. How about you teach them about their colors? Because I see you put a bunch of colors on your face, right? You have mismatched blush. You got your brightest, most offensive blue on your eyes. And you are melting down, calling your sister a saying fuck your mom as a preschool teacher. In your car, losing it. Losing it. Why do these people keep getting hired? Why do they tend to keep their jobs despite looking like that? For you to even show up to work looking like you just escaped your local mental asylum, right? And I mean literally, if you are an audio viewer, I'm going to need you to just open the video on YouTube and look at what I'm talking about. It's giving. She needs two straight jackets. One isn't going to suffice, babe. Why anyone looked at her in the interview process and said, this person can be around four and five-year-olds, that's demented. I have to move on from this because I think I'm shaking. You're terrifying, bitch. You're a scary bitch. And maybe the reason you hate your mom and or your sister is because they filled you in on the fact that you're a scary bitch. Uh. What is that? Y'all want to let me know in the comments what that is? And why the producer for this podcast chose to put me in a horror film this episode. Because I know the name is The Blair White Project, but not really feeling the vibe. Because I feel like I'm in The Blair Witch Project. With those pigtails. When a kid tells you that they're transgender, believe them. A lot of people will say that it's impossible for a four-year-old to know if they're trans or not, but actually that's not true. They can know, and here's why. From day one, gender is baked into everything we do. You either have a boy name or a girl name, boy toys or girl toys, boy clothes or girl clothes. First of all, just because you're cosplaying as a toddler, with your little pigtails, 
Doesn't mean you can speak for them. Gender is baked into everything. I feel like I'm baked. Am I hallucinating that you had the audacity to come up on camera in those pigtails with that stubble speaking for little girls? I don't think I am hallucinating. And fuck the version of myself 10 seconds ago that said that I'm the problem. That's the problem. No one ever is looking into those demented little eyes of yours and thinking that you have a drop of sense that there is one word, one syllable, one spit particle coming out that should be taken seriously, right? Again, clink, clink, because we're going to need you to be put away somewhere, you know? Back when things made sense, this person would not be getting a sex change. They'd be getting an exorcism. Those demons would be exorcised. You know, this is one of the things about the debate I did in LA. One of the reasons why I went so crazy and why I lost my mind is because it's one thing to sit up here watching these hoes talk about how kids should undergo sex changes in a TikTok or on camera through a screen. It's another to sit across from them in real life. It really is. It's another to feel that troglodyte energy and to smell that troglodyte musk and have to really pretend as if this is a serious conversation, to pretend as if it is part of normal, healthy political discourse and worthy of being within the Overton window at all that children should undergo sex changes. Clink, clink. Chris Hansen, this one's next, okay? This one's also going to hell, you can tell. Mom claims her seven-year-old son is trans and seeks advice on tucking swimwear so he looks feminine. So let's see what Miss Karen has to really say right now. So I'm at the pool and, um, you know, kids have goggles on and stuff. Quintina wears a bathing suit bottom that has a skirt on it. And um, one of the kids went under the water and uh, her skirt had flown up and saw that she, you know, had junk and um, said something to another kid. Like, is there something that, like, if you're a trans woman, like, is there something that you can wear that can kind of cover it up so, you know, you look on the outside. You know, when you're wearing certain clothes, you don't want to have a bulge. You want it to be smooth. Um, and you're a fake bitch, right? You are more of a fake bitch than a literal fake bitch, which is me, right? I'm faking being a bitch and you're just a fake bitch. So you, first of all, why are you on camera talking about your child's genitals on the internet at all, babe? Miss Karen, Miss Kellyanne, Miss Susie, why? Why? So you're talking about your kid being embarrassed in the water. It doesn't ring any bells. There's no alarms going off in your own head that it may be embarrassing to talk about their genitals on camera to the internet, the World Wide Web. And taking it back to what I just said, the reason why she's a fake bitch, faker than an actual fake bitch, is she knows exactly what she's talking about when she's like, is there something that, you know, let's just say you're a trans woman. Is there like something you can wear to smooth? You know what I mean? Like, you know exactly that you are referencing tucking underwear. You know what that is and you're pretending not to because you want to play the innocent mom who just wants to help and learn things. I'm here to learn and I'm on the journey with my child. You're taking your child on a journey, a seven-year-old, and you are on the internet inquiring about shoving his testicles into his body. Y'all know that's what tucking is, right? You don't just wear something tight that just compresses it and makes it look small. Time to get graphic. When you tuck, you actually do push your testicles inside of your body. Your body has pockets that they go inside and they go up inside. 
So, which by the way, can lead to fertility issues, right? You can cause a really bad injury if you do it wrong. Very important to do it right. And Miss Kellyanne is just so ready. You are insane. If you think that it is normal to come on camera saying anything about your child's genitals to the World Wide Web. I'm going to need you to, instead of putting your son on estrogen, get on your own prescription because that hairline is far back. You're balding. Because again, that demon, it comes out and it's never going to be pretty. Right, It's always going to manifest in something that depletes your physical value. And that hairline is depleted. Blair, why are you being mean? She's abusing her child. You think a joke about her hairline isn't somewhat warranted? That's the nicest thing I could say to Miss Susan over here, right? Getting all hyped up. Yeah, I may or may not make a joke about her hairline. If that's offending you. Go away. Don't be mean to the abuser. I've trained all the children at my summer camp to come to me whenever I play my recorder. Bunch of five to 11 year olds are just following me wherever I go. I have so much power and I love it. It's the perfect time to teach them about trans. I have so much power and I love it. It's the perfect time to teach them about trans. I had that holy water blessed off camera in between. So y'all want to act like the groomer discourse is just totally invalid. Literally talking about luring kids in with SpongeBob music to teach them about LGBTQ. That's not grooming at all. Clink, clink. That is the only course of action that should be taken for you. That buck tooth, that bald head, all of that's coming from the demonic possession. And that flute is clearly a demonic artifact. You clearly stumbled upon that flute in an abandoned library that you and your dumbass friends decided, this is great, we should go ghost hunting, demon hunting, in an abandoned library, you found the flute and then that demon jumped inside of you. Because I can't think of any other explanation for why would you would come up on camera admitting to being such a piece of shit other than something jumped in you. And I would take that out that I'm giving you if I were you. If I looked this crazy and deranged on camera and then someone gave me the excuse of it's just a demon. I would take that. I would, you know, it is a demon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not me. Wasn't me. Must have been out of my mind because of the demon and the flute that I found in the abandoned library that possessed my body. Get rid of the flute, babe. And avoid kids. Stay far back like that hairline from kids. Whoop. Okay. Okay. We're going to keep rolling through because as the general in the Blair White Army, I can't give up and give out, right? All y'all are at war as well, but the general can't give up. So we're going to keep going. LGBTQ activist says there's no such thing as parental rights. Tell me you're a diddler without telling me you're a diddler. And schools should be able to keep secrets from parents. And you know, with those glasses, he should be taken seriously. No such thing as parental rights. It's not recognized in law. It's not in the charter. It doesn't exist. Children's rights, however, are recognized and have been for a very long time. Parents have responsibility, which is recognized in the law, but no rights. If your child does not want to tell you something about them, that's your problem. I think you are everyone's problem, right? And... We often talk about people 
telling on themselves. First of all, you got those glasses. And just like the last episode, this is the go-to for the intellectual heavyweight ass hoes who are just weighing heavy. He's just weighing heavy. Don't be fooled. Right? There's no intellect. There's just a different kind of demon coming out. Not the troglodyte demon. The diddler demon. The demon of the diddler. Because how you can fix your mouth to say parents have no rights when it comes to their children. How if a child wants to hide something from their parents, they should be allowed to. The problem is we know what you're talking about, hiding from them, right? Not normal, you know, things going on at school they don't want to talk about, right? Not, oh, I'm getting bullied at school, so I'm shy to tell my parents. Not, oh, I have a crush on a girl at school, but I don't want to tell my parents. You want kids to hide things about gender and sex. That's what you want them to hide. And there is really only one type of person that wants to hide that from parents, right? Right? And I don't think I even really need to tell you what kind of person, because I think you know, audience at home. I think you feel it in your spirit when you watch this fake ass intellectual heavyweight who is just weighing heavy run that mouth. You need to run on a treadmill, babe. Right? And then maybe if you get your look together, you'd be attracting people of a certain age and not we all know. We all know what I'm saying here. Even if there were just no rights that parents had, the fact that you would make a video relishing in that, celebrating that, rather than saying that's a problem, <laughs> right? Like if that were really true, my TikTok about it would be parents don't have any rights. That's bad. Your MO is parents don't have any rights, thank God. Because that leaves you free to do what you want. It's really not that complicated where this is coming from within him, right? You can see it. You can believe your eyes sometimes. They're there for a reason. Trans men don't need to be like cis men at all in order to be men. Trans men don't need to know that they're a man from a really young age. They don't need to hate dresses. Trans men can love to wear makeup. Trans men can be of any sexuality. Trans men don't even have to feel like men if they don't want to. So, basically, in your head, anything that ever made trans a thing is not a thing. And you don't see how that makes it not a thing, right? Trans men don't even have to feel like men if they're not. Then why the fuck they, would they be trans? Why would they transition? Why would they, why? Reading Rainbow. Why reading Rainbow would they do that? See, it's really shocking actually how I was thinking about this the other day. It's not as if these people are incorrect about things or serving bad takes at the normal rate at which the average person kind of does, right? It's not as if they're right about some things, wrong about other things. Y'all are wrong about everything all of the time. Y'all sound dumb as shit all of the time. And, you know, when you're wrong all of the time, that's when you start bordering on delusion, that's when you border on a conversation needs to be had about your fitness to even be amongst the general public. Are you a danger to yourself or others? Because even the dumbest person, right? Even the dumbest head in the dirt ass bitch is going to get some things right sometimes. Y'all are just always incorrect. Embarrassing. Reading Rainbow. Just stuck on stupid. Why do they always wear rainbows? Pretty sure to any gay people who are just so obsessed with wearing rainbows, I think we all knew that you were gay when you were sucking dick, right? We all knew I was trans when I talked about my dick, right? Why would I need to wear a rainbow all the time to remind you I have a dick? Why would a gay man need to wear a rainbow all the time to remind you he's sucking dick? Okay, y'all remember this person, right? <laughs> How could you forget? New pronouns just dropped via Jeffrey Marsh. 
Take a deep breath. We're going to make it through this one together. Zeno pronouns, perhaps one of the most beautiful concepts, uh, one of the most poetic ways to approach this subject. Zeno pronouns refers to any pronoun a person has that is unspeakable. You know, there are many things that are unspeakable. You are one of them. It is actually unspeakable how demented and deranged and demonic and diddlery you are, Jeffrey Marsh. Mr. This is for kids only. I want to talk to the kids. What the fuck is a pronoun that isn't speakable? What the fuck is a pronoun which is literally a word, a, vib a vibration that comes out from here? That's part of your body, your chest, where your heart is. You don't have one, but it comes from here, right? In what world does that make any sense? In what world are you not just getting off on confusing children? Y'all need to stop naming your kids Jeffrey because it's clearly not working out. So anyone in the comments whose name is Jeffrey, speak up and speak up now, right? Argue for your innocence. Let us know why we shouldn't think you're a demon because so far we have Jeffrey Epstein, Jeffrey Marsh, Jeffrey Dahmer, right? It's not looking so good for the Jeffreys. So if you are a Jeffrey who isn't a demon, who isn't destructive, who isn't a diddler, Speak up now or forever hold your peace and the Blair White Army will decide in the comment section if you are to be freed from clink clink because I think that's what you need. This man is a nuisance. I mean, oh my God, you're a nuisance. Which is again, the nicest word I could use. Y'all love, and when I say y'all, I really don't mean members of the Blair White Army. But perhaps a few of the newer members of the Blue Red Army will sometimes pretend as if I'm a little too mean, right? I'm a little too rough. I think it's easy to remember the psychotic things I say and the aggressive things I say. Maybe it's a little harder to remember who I'm addressing them to each and every time I do it. So a man who is confusing children, deserves a few harsh words. That woman set on the destruction of her son's testicles might deserve a joke about her balding hairline. Looking like big head egghead, right? Humpty Dumpty. You're gonna fall, Humpty Dumpty. Because I will never stop. Being mean to Karens like that, right? I will never stop telling the Kellyans of the world who think that putting their kids through a sex change is somehow honorable, right? You have no honor. No, no. And I know that sometimes the truth is hard to swallow, but at some point, you have to accept it. I know every day for y'all is opposite day, so the truth is going to be not the truth to y'all, right? You live an opposite day every day, but the expectation for me to live there or for me to celebrate op opposite day every day, it's a little selfish, don't you think? Sick. Sick, down low, dirty, nasty, deranged, demonic. Listen, that is it for this episode. I am going to go stick my head in the dirt and pray that by the time I take it out, y'all are not so deranged. Please subscribe to this podcast as well as my main channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you in the next episode of the Blair White Projects. Bye, guys.